Hey guys, welcome back. I'm going to show you how incredibly easy and tasty it is to make salsa at home. And once you get the hang of this, you are never ever going to like the store-bought ones. I really promise you on that. I like to roast my tomatoes because it gives a very nice smoky, rich, deep flavor to the salsa. But even if you skip this step and use fresh tomatoes or canned tomatoes, the result is equally delicious. So let's get cooking. We begin by making the salsa by first getting our vegetables organized. Uh, that is the mitoplas. Got two cloves of garlic, which has got share skin on. I'm going to lightly crush it with the knife, just flatten it to open them up. Green peppers, cut them into half. Tomatoes, again cut them into half. Don't need to cut them into smaller pieces because these are now going to go into a roasting tray to bake in a preheated oven around 200 degrees centigrade or 390 degrees Fahrenheit for approximately around 18 minutes. Now what that does is because they are being grilled or roasted in the oven, they tend to get charred and they cook and they have a very nice flavor along by cooking in the grill. Uh, for the vegetables, you take a handful of fresh coriander or cilantro. If you don't have cilantro, you can also probably use some basil or some other leaves that you like. Uh, I prefer to use coriander because it gives a very nice, light, herby feel to the dish. Red onion, that's again my preferred choice because red onion has a lovely color. It also has a very nice flavor to it and also has a texture. It has less moisture, so when you actually add it into dishes like dips or like salsas or into salads, it gives a nice crunch, it gives a very nice bite feel and it, it tastes quite nice. To pep it up with chili, I'm actually going to use jalapenos. Uh, if you don't have jalapenos, obviously you can use the green chili if you like, or you can also get a fat green chilies or fat red chilies, they work well. But jalapenos give a very nice flavor, and that actually gives a very nice depth of flavor to the salsa. It's a very nice balancing off to those flavors. Lemon juice, we'll also go into that, so half a lime, so keep it all ready. Now once our vegetables, the peppers, the garlic and the tomatoes have been roasted, you let them cool for a while so you can able to handle them very easily. Peel out the skin of the garlic and you can press the flesh out, literally they are roasted, they are slightly sweetish, they taste quite nice, have a very nice smoky or a roasted flavor comes to them. Peel off the skin of the tomatoes and also the peppers and because they have been pre-roasted in the oven, they have been cooked, they peel off quite easily. But always do this once they are cooled down. So they gently peel off with ease. You don't need to cut them into large chunks, uh, sorry, into uh, small pieces. Large chunks is perfectly acceptable because they will then go into a blender to get blitz. For blitzing it, I prefer to use a food processor because it really helps to break down the pieces into tiny pieces and not a uh, very fine paste. Uh, salsa should have some kind of a texture so always try and use a food processor and not really a blender or a hand blender add the peppers into the food processor your coriander your garlic your onion your tomatoes all go in now and a good squeeze of lime almost half a lime i prefer to use lime than lemon because lime is much much uh, much more citric it gives a very nice flavor to it it's much sharper and that's what you need uh, don't forget that tomatoes also are quite sour on their own but the citric form the lime really works well salt very important if you can get a smoked salt even better otherwise a normal salt works perfectly well now we basically blitz it up till you get like a coarse texture and because there is no skin uh, there is no particles involved it will blitz quite easily and quite instantly check the seasoning it's very important that the seasoning has to be right if you need more, you can always add more. If you do find that it is a bit too sour or too strong in the flavor, you can add a small amount of sugar if you like. Me personally, I love to have it very citric and acidic in flavor. So I'm going to add a little more lime juice. So half the lime juice squeezed out into the tomato salsa, lid back on and again whisk, but this time in just into pulse mode. So literally just the short burst of whizzing it and what you get is the chunky kind of a tomato salsa which you can enjoy and for me it's best to have with some tortilla chips or with some nachos. Bon appetit!